I am Victoria, aka Auntie Vic, and I am so glad you're here. I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and making sure to hydrate, nourish, exercise, and say I love you to the people you care about the most in this world. I spent the week taking darn good care of myself. I decided to heck with neglecting myself for the sake of money, for the sake of work, for the sake of productivity. I'm gonna freaking bake a freaking banana bread and I'm going to watch a TV series and I'm going to eat chips and relax and do yoga and surf and just do it all for me. And when I felt like picking up the camera, I recorded it and when I didn't feel like it, I didn't. And that felt wonderful to me. There's nothing like having integrity with yourself and really showing up for yourself and fulfilling the promises you've made to yourself. So I hope that this video and other videos of mine inspire you guys to make sure you're putting yourself first. Therefore, you could care for others in a more whole way. I spent a lot of time at the beach. I didn't really want to, but I ended up going to this cakey surf contest and I actually really enjoyed watching all of the kiddos. I just thought I'd get overwhelmed with the crowd. I think this is the most extroverted thing I did this week. Otherwise, I was like, I'm gonna lean into my introversion. It's becoming increasingly hard in our culture and in our society to prioritize rest. It's way too easy to put rest on the back burner and prioritize all the tasks we think we need to do in the name of productivity and in the name of our self-worth. I've always wanted to be the representation and see the representation of people who prioritize their mental health and their mental well-being no matter where they live and no matter what they do for work and no matter what they have. And I hope that we can all remember that healing is an ongoing process. It's a daily practice and we just have to make time and space for it when we can. I had a wonderful surf session today. I just took a glorious accidental nap. It was a little scary because I almost burnt. I did burn my rice. I did not realize I fell asleep while rice was still cooking. Which means I really need to get a rice cooker or just not fall asleep while you're making something on the stove. And I finally just locked in to Amazon Prime TV for the first time ever. And I'm really excited because there's a show on here that I'm ready to watch. I feel ready. It's going to get me in a summer mood. But before I do that, I've been kind of deciding back and forth whether or not I want to go back to town and surf again just because the waves were so fun and it's just so stunning outside. It's so beautiful. But I'm honestly feeling pretty homebody, like kind of loving just relaxing at home. I kind of feel like doing a yoga flow. There goes the bus that I would have taken to the beach. I feel like that solidifies it. So I'm just gonna roll out my mat. It gets stretchy. And relax. It's a six minute morning yoga wake up call to help you feel your best. Side to side. to the toes. Maybe if it feels good, you can even gently rock side to side. Exhale, rounding through the spine, take your gaze down. And bend a bit more into the shoulders and the upper back and the chest. Drawing the breath into the chest. Right hand reaches up and over. 
inhale, reach. Fun day at the beach, decent-ish surf session, and then we stopped at the plant store on our way home and got some soil. So I can repot one of my plants. I'm gonna repot this guy right here. And I got these cute little pots from Marshalls, and I'm going to pot our little propagated um, pothos. So I'm gonna do that right now and then make a smoothie, do some yoga, and catch up on some YouTube videos because some of my favorite YouTubers posted, and this is just such a wonderful day. You don't have to. 